head is throbbing too hard to even think. I had awoken in an extremely dark meadow. Is this even reality? Because I'm certain I just fell asleep. It is too hard to even tell. It feels too real though. Maybe I just need a sip of water. Yeah. I still have an awful feeling in the pit of my stomach about this. The door was open. It was the boutique I went to yesterday.
under a stable condition. She ran after Dr. Steiner with a knife According to the repairman, any entry to the base is
down from that suspension, if it's the last thing I do. I'm stuck here, so what do I have to lose? thing to do. Why is everything out to kill me? What did I do to deserve these nightmares? The police. How? How? What? Why? No. I'm not a murderer. Not a murderer. He's up by the poor man. There he is! Harold Mason. He had the right to remain silent. Get, get him! Him! None of this is my fault! Kill it! We said you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. Not a murderer. You have the right to speak to an attorney and to have an attorney present during any questioning. If you cannot afford a lawyer, one will be provided for you at government expense. Good work. Let's book him, boys. Harold Mason. Do you mind if I call you Harry? Where the hell am I? Well, Harry, you are in an interrogation room. All we need is your help figuring something out. That is all. Then you can go back to your cell. I didn't do it, dammit. That, that thing. It is what did it. Ha! <laughs> we placed a bet. We knew you would use that stupid excuse again. Harold? The officer examined the crime scene thoroughly and we found no traces of any creature being there. In fact, the only one present at the time of the crime was you and the corpse. Now, what was your relation to the deceased, if any? Because we know he was your neighbor. No relation, just a friend of mine. We would sometimes go out and get a drink or two at the bar, but that's about it. So if you two were friends, then why did you kill him? For fuck's sake, I didn't kill him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You did not kill him. The creature did. The other neighbor across from your house, nice gal she was, said you broke into his house. You entered through the man's garage. He was out by the poolside. That same neighbor, she went to the backyard and peeking through the fence and saw you slashing him with tools. She immediately called us up and we rushed over as quick as we possibly could. Unfortunately, we could not save the poor man. He was in the pool, drowned, and sliced. So please tell us the truth, Harold. Why did you kill him? What made you do it? For the last time, he did it. 
I did not. Yep. Okay, Harold. He did it. Take Mr. Mason back to his cell. I'm getting sick of even look at his ugly face. <laughs> what the hell? Hello? Is anyone there? Keep following me. I better not let my guard down for anything. Who knows where he could be lurking?
Harold, we have a few questions to ask you. Come with us, please. So, Harold, we are stumped. We examined your records. Not even a single ounce of alcohol entered your body in the past 10 years. No drugs, nothing. You have been completely clean since high school, as far as we know. We even ran a drug test on you in near comatose state. You ran tests on me? While I had no signed consent, nor free will, to have let you conduct it? To be fair, you did just kill someone. You are under heavy guard right now, Harold. I still have my rights. As far as we see it, you have limited rights. We have the right to conduct tests under these circumstances. The fuck you do? Also, I told you already, I didn't fucking kill him. I was his friend. I even babysat for him once. Which is why we are stumped how you could have killed your own friend. I didn't fucking kill him, damn it. Shut the fuck up. It was all him. It... I... don't even fucking know what it is. Get your facts straight before you accuse an innocent man. I'm innocent. Yeah, 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 we get it, we get it. It was him. Harold! It was all you! We have witnesses! We have people that saw you mutilate him! You are not fucking innocent in our eyes! You are no longer under the category of innocent until proven guilty! I'm innocent until proven guilty under jury of my peers. Not in here, you aren't! Shut the fuck up! Sheriff, I, I'm gonna fucking kill that creature. I'm going to make it extra toasty. Perhaps they have my model house in evidence somewhere. I'm gonna mutilate that thing. Yes, who is this? So far, just an acquaintance. But I know who you are. How could you possibly know who I am? Hello? Just keep focused, and don't get killed. I will be in touch.
Who is this, really? I already told you, Harold. Just an acquaintance. Cut the bullshit. What the hell is going on here? I'm just looking for answers, and I would like to know what's going on. I just killed my friend the other day, and I couldn't even perceive it was him. All that I saw was just a nightmare. Listen, Harold. I know exactly how you are feeling. The creature is following me, too, and I have found where its home is. It lives in a mining facility not far from town. This is your dream, however, Harold. And the only way that you can get to it is to imagine it. How is this all the dream? What kind of trippy hallucinogen have I been taking to dream this shit up? I do not take drugs, so why the hell is this happening? My mind is not this messed up. Just believe me when I say that the creature is deadly. I have seen it, and it wants you. Wait, what? Wants me? What the hell does she mean, wants me?
mining facility. It is. This is the entrance to it. You are going to need to maneuver your way to it. Okay, thanks. May I ask how that I have a chance? Why are you helping me? I mean, if you are a part of this nightmare, shouldn't you be attacking me instead? Hey, not all of us are evil. Some of us just don't have to escape from it all. I guess I can understand that. So, where is the creature's home in here? Deep in the mining facility, there is an abandoned church where workers would go to escape from work for a while. Inside the church, there is an altar. He tends to stay around it in that area. Okay, thank you. But, you know, you never got around to telling me your name, by the way. She is quite the particular type. Should I really trust her? I guess I have no choice in this situation.
Huh. Is that you? Oh, I would not quite say that it is me, Harold. You don't even know me, remember? What are you doing here, though? Here at this altar, I mean. Join, Join us, Harold. Harold. Wait. Join you? Oh, you do not know, do you? Why, I've been hiding my identity from you. Do you? What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> I have been watching you from the start ever since you purchased that model house. Wait. You were the cause of these nightmares. I knew I should have never trusted you. You fucking bitch. <laughs> oh, don't beat yourself up too much, Harold. I mean, I could see it in your eyes when you killed that cop. The lust for power. I saw it in your eyes, and I know you want it. Power. This bitch is crazy. But killing that guy, it, it felt so good. It felt like unleashing my hatred to society. It felt amazing. Like a huge weight was lifted from my shoulders. No, I can't succumb to my insanity. So why the hell do you want me to join you? What's so special about me? We, we just, we just want to provide a strong specimen with immense power, that, that, that's all. There's no way you just want to give me a large amount of power. There must be more to it. You just do not know how to keep your mouth shut sometimes, Harold. That man you mutilated, that officer that you shot, we saw it and it looked like you enjoyed it. We just want to provide you with the power that you crave. Power. I do want it. Fucking lies. My minions? <laughs> you may have noticed them following you and chasing after you. It was all one giant test to see if you were the one that we have been looking for. Wait. Looking for? I thought you wanted to give me power. Oh, trust me. The ritual will give you power. But it will also benefit us in the end. Ritual? We are in a church, are we not? <laughs> I thought it would be implied. You're fucking nuts. Oh, now, come on, Mr. Murderer. <laughs> I'm not a murderer, but I will murder one thing. I would like to see you try, Harold. So, it has come to this then, Harold. <laughs> Your hubris is insurmountable, but you are still no threat to me. The darkness shades over your ambitions to defeat me. As long as the darkness prevails, you too will fail. Hey, Edgar Allan Poe, how about you quit with your cockiness and actually fight me? <laughs> and so the showdown begins. Goodbye, Mr. Raisin. So. He hides in the darkness. I guess we'll need to light this place up then. Somebody leave the curtains open? Burn, you fucker. It looks like it actually is finally over. That monstrosity of a human being is finally dead. <laughs> That's what you think. 
Ritual success. <laughs> it can only be ascertained <laughs> if one is sacrificed to a being of superior power. With my dying breath, I speak my last words. You have completed the ritual just as I had planned for you. Welcome home, ruler of the Hell House. <laughs> Help! 